Welcome back guys, JC here, and here's how to connect the FreeSky XSR receiver to the Seriously Dodo flight controller. I'll show you how to wire everything, configure everything in Betaflight, and then uh, how to get telemetry in your Tyrannus. I'll be leaving links to my XSR, Dodo, and Tyrannus playlist in the top right of your screen and description below, so you can check those out for other helpful videos. As far as wiring, if we go to the Dodo, these are the input pins over here. If you look on the back side, you will see the very first pin is ground. The second pin is 5 volt, which is going to power the receiver. And then we have channels 1 to 8, which are normally for PWM receivers, but we can configure this for other things. On the XSR, I'll be using SBUS. You do have the choice between SBUS and PPM. Uh, basically, if you plug this in you get five wires uh, ground power this wire right here on yours should be yellow I believe but I've replaced mine uh, because it got messed up but anyway the wire after that you will see that I cut off that is if you want PPM the last wire the white one is for SBUS so it's either or you can't have both uh, you have to pick one but like I said I'll be using SBUS if you do want SBUS, then going back to these UARTs, uh, you'll see channel 3 and 4 is also, or it can be configured to be UART number 3. Channel 3 is U3RX, and channel 4 is U3TX, which is UART number 3, receive and transmit. Uh, for SBUS, we need a receive, which is on channel number 3, and it looks something like that. Now if you are using a lot of other devices and you need that extra UART then you can use this PPM wire that I've cut off right here and place that right next to your power wire on channel number one. Now as far as wiring your telemetry which is going to be this middle wire it should be yellow on yours uh, we need another UART for telemetry. These pins right here are uh, UART number one but I'm not going to recommend using UART number one because it is tied in with the USB and it's going to cause problems once you go into beta flight or clean flight. Uh, so if you can use UART number two, which is going to be on these five pins here. Uh, much like before, how we used a receive for the SBUS wire on UART number three, this time we actually need a transmit. Uh, you'll see U2TX on this middle pin and that's the one we need. Now with everything wired up, you can plug in a USB cable. That's going to power your flight controller and receiver both. At this point, you now have to bind your receiver. Now that's getting power. Uh, just look in my XSR or Tyrannus playlist and you will find my video showing you how to bind it. I've already gone ahead and bound mine, so once I turn on my transmitter... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light, meaning that it is bound and everything is working. Once you get that solid green light, we can continue. So we just want to go into beta flight and connect. Uh, first let's go to ports. And because we put the SBUS wire on UART number 3, come under UART 3 and RX and turn on serial RX. If you did choose to use PPM instead of SBUS, then leave this turned off. And then because we put the telemetry wire on UART number 2, come over here and under telemetry, you want to select smart port. I know it's a free sky receiver, but these are actually two different types of telemetry. Uh, the D4R2 uses free sky telemetry, but the XSR uses smart port. So choose smart port, then save and reboot. Now go to configuration and scroll down. And because we are using SBUS and it is a serial receiver, then we will choose RX serial. And then we need to choose what type of serial, which is SBUS. If you chose to use PPM instead of SBUS, then you would just select PPM and you can just leave this alone. Now I'll scroll down and turn on telemetry. Then save and reboot. Now we just need to 
to test everything, so go to receiver, and if you move your joysticks around, uh, roll, pitch, yaw, and throttle should all be moving on your screen. If you've created any switches, you can test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, all that's working. Now to get Slim Tree in your Tyrannus, you want to press menu to go to your model. Hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry. Then you just want to scroll down to discover new sensors and press enter. Then press it again to stop discovery. And here is all of your telemetry sensors. Uh, VBAT is going to be, or VFAST is going to be your voltage. It's only showing around 5 volts now because we have a USB cable connected. But once you plug in your LiPo battery, it's going to show the full voltage of the battery. That does it guys, so check out those other uh, playlists for other helpful videos, and I will see you again soon.